Major Jesus and became a lieutenant on 10th June 1990. As a young and energetic group commander, he gave the fullest commitment to the special forces. On 1st May 1991, he was appointed as the squadron second in command of Bravo Squadron in the 1st Regiment Special Forces. In the meantime, Lieutenant Sujivayapa completed his parachute course and subsequently Indian Commando course in India by obtaining excellent grading at the completion of the courses. Identifying the potential of young Lieutenant Sujivayapa, he was promoted to the rank of captain on the 10th June 1992. Captain Sujiva Senaratyapa married to a beautiful, charming lady, Miss Nayani Samanti Munasingha, on the 28th October 1993. And they were blessed with two sons, Gavesh and Banuka. Mrs. Senaratyapa fully understood the nature of her beloved husband's duty and was a supportive wife throughout his military career. That was a great comfort for him to serve the army and the nation with a free mind. He took over his new appointment as the officer commanding of Bravo Squadron on 27th April 1994 in the 2nd Regiment Special Forces. Captain Sujiva Senaratyapa followed his young officer's course in India on 12th February 1996 where he kept the Sri Lankan flag flying high among the officers in the course. On the 7th of September 1996, he successfully completed his mid-career course in Pakistan and on his return, he was appointed as the senior instructor at Special Forces Training School. On 7th of September 1996, he was promoted to the rank of Major and took over duties as the 1st Brigade Major of Special Forces Brigade. During his tenure, he could earn great respect from his peers and subordinates. Major Sujiva Senaratyapa was appointed as the second in command of the 3rd Regiment Special Forces on the 24th January 2001. After completing approximately two and a half years as the second in command, he was appointed as the commanding officer of the 1st Regiment Special Forces on the 7th of August 2003. In the year 2005, this visionary strategist was selected to take over the responsibilities of the commanding officer of the 3rd Regiment Special Forces. As a responsible commanding officer, he went through every detail and was mostly concerned with operational efficiency by achieving maximum results through minimum resources and wastages. After completing a successful yet a tough tenure as the commanding officer of 3SF, Major Sujiva Senratyapa was appointed as the commandant at Special Forces Training School on the 4th of May 2007 and subsequently in June 2007 Major Sujiva Senratyapa was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He served as the Commandant for nearly two years. On 17 February 2009 he was appointed as the Brigade Commander of 593 Infantry Brigade as the youngest and the most junior Brigade Commander. During this time 593 Brigade was at a very crucial juncture in the last phase of humanitarian operation. Lieutenant Colonel Sujiva Senaratyapa again proved himself being a part of the largest rescue operation to rescue innocent Tamil people from the knuckles of LTTE controlled areas. The exemplary leadership and heroism displayed by the Commander 593 Brigade was commended by many seniors and juniors. On his return to the regiment, he was appointed as the Centre Commandant of the Special Forces Regimental Centre on the 14th of October 2009. He rendered his service to the regiment by immensely contributing in addressing the administrative necessities of the Special Forces Regiment. He initiated many projects to manage the transition of soldiers from wartime to peacetime. As the Centre Commandant, many training concepts were initiated to train soldiers for effective employment 
in the peacetime. He is also a pioneer in conducting leadership training programs to share the learnings with the other organizations and young generations of the country. He was promoted to the rank of Colonel on the 1st June 2012. Colonel Sujiva Senaratyapa left for China in 2013 to participate Army Battalion Command course. He was appointed as the commander of the Special Forces Brigade on 1st November 2014. He is a pioneer in developing a five-year plan to enhance the operational capabilities and capacities of Special Forces Battalions. He displayed his foresight and anticipation towards effective employment by maintaining the combat power of the Special Forces in Sri Lanka. While he was discharging his duties as the commander of the Special Forces Brigade, he was promoted to the rank of Brigadier on the 6th of September 2016. He obtained a Master's of Science in Management from Kotalawala Defence University, Sri Lanka. He is also a graduate of the National Defence University of Beijing, China. There he earned his second Master's of Science in Strategic Military Studies. On 5th of November 2019, he was appointed as the Brigadier General Staff at Security Forces Headquarters Kilinochi. This knowledge-thirsty gentleman researched youth in Kilinochi and presented the paper on youth radicalization to the commander of the Sri Lanka Army by exhibiting his academic potential. On 1st June 2020, he was appointed as the General Office Commanding of 57 Infantry Division situated in Kilinochi, which is considered one of the most daring and renowned infantry divisions of the Sri Lanka Army. On the 2nd of June 2020, he was promoted to the well-deserved rank of Major General and appointed as the General Officer Commanding 14th Knowledge sharing. Major General Suji Vasenrat Vyapa had a clear vision of uplifting the standards of the soldiers and officers as well as the welfare and training. Owing to his visionary thinking, commitment, and dedication, the morale of the troops boomed to great heights in the Special Forces. During his distinguished career, the senior officer has been decorated with gallantry awards of Rana Vikrama Padakkama three times for individual acts of bravery in the face of the enemy. He was also decorated with Rana Sura Padakkama four times for his valor in the face of the enemy and the 75th Independence Day Medal in recognition of his distinguished service to the organization. He believed that 
the officers and soldiers of the special forces should be equipped with the best military training, the highest standards and respected values along with the sophisticated equipment to build a futuristic special force. As the president of the Army Athletic Federation, he implemented many initiatives to uplift the standards of Army sports. He attended several local and overseas military training courses, visits and seminars in the countries like India, Pakistan, Maldives, China, Brazil, Switzerland and the United States of America. We are sure with the intellectual capacity you have, you will outshine your new appointment as the Commandant of the National Defence College. It is very true to the word that behind every successful man there is a lady who bears up all the hardships with equanimity. It is she who provided the courage and confidence to walk along the path of this gentleman walked through. It is she who presented a great leader, strategist, warrior and above all an excellent human being. Dear Madam Samanthi Senaratyapa, the President of Special Forces Seva Vanita Unit, you were a mother not only to Gavesh and Banuka but also to the entire Special Forces family. We always cherish the memories you left with us. Proud sons of a great father, Gavesh and Banuka, you two were wonderful throughout his journey from the day you were born. You never wore your father's insignia, which is a quality that we admire. We are sure you must have lost many pleasing moments with your father. The entire country would say sorry for the emotional hurts you had. Remember, he is the best father you can ever think of. Apart from his character of a battle-hardened warrior, he was a loving husband and a great father. He is also an environment conservator and a very sensitive human being. A true gentleman with hard-earned maturity and patience. A true friend whom everyone would be lucky to have company. A true brother that anyone would love to have. A joyful true human being whom anyone would cherish the time spent with him. We all are lucky to serve in an army that has great leaders like you serve. Also, we are lucky to serve in the same era in which great human being like you served. Every warrior will have a story to tell and your story will never be forgotten in the history of the Special Forces. Sir, the family of Special Forces wishes you and your family all the very best and may the noble Triple Gem bless you all forever. Determined, dead and done.